Community schools is important because it embraces the whole child, the student, and the teacher working together to make a complete whole student. And and also helping the family, which will help the student. Generations of families have been Hoover Cardinals, and that's a really important part of our identity and a piece of who we are. And that kind of parlays us into why community schools was such a natural fit for us. We are a community center. We're a community hub for students and families. Community schools are an opportunity to identify what are the unique needs of a community like City Heights, Hoover High School serves, and also to be able to transform how we do education within the classroom to have more culturally sustaining curriculum, more community-based curriculum, real-world projects, collaborating with community organizations on the issues that are facing our communities. We have around 18 to 20 different organizations that provide different supports and resources to our students that we connect with and that we um, um, leverage to be able to make sure that our students are successful, that they're really college and career ready, that ideal state. And so they provide internships, they provide mentorships, they provide tutoring, they provide safe spaces after school for students to be able to go to, they provide scholarships for college. There are some days that a family comes in in crisis and they're having issues with food security, housing issues, and I kind of jump into that space of, well, let me get you connected to the resources we have available. Sometimes I'll get a call from a parent. My student's not motivated, they don't want to come to school. Let me get you connected to some mental health services. Let me get you connected to some other folks on site that can help you with those specific needs. One of the biggest projects that we've undertaken this year is around the food pantry. The impact of the food pantry has been huge on the community. Parents were sharing with me what a benefit it is just to be able to come to your school and pick up um, fresh produce, pick up fresh milk, um, pick up beans or rice or whatever it is that you need for your meal that night. There's medical and dental services provided through La Maestra Community Health Center. They're on site every day from you know Monday through Friday, 8 to 12, and they can provide medical services including immunizations, well child checks, sick checks, sports physicals, uh, confidential sexual health care services. One of the things that we're hoping to do is be able to have our students begin to bring some of the, the awareness around mental health and mental health services to the parents and try to help be a bridge to destigmatize getting services. There's still a lot of shame in families or, or concern that what does it mean if my child is struggling with a mental health issue and a lot of my students talk about that on a personal level, so they've started talking one-on-one -on -one with their parents, but that became an idea for them to maybe bring some community members in, some of the people that, that they've learned from, and have host some parent events. So I've talked with a few parents about that, and they've been really um, interested in attending events on campus, and um, so that's sort of a really concrete way that, that through community schools, we can connect more with parents and get them involved with what's happening on campus, have, helping them uh, access services for their students if they need it. It was really sort of born out of kids talking about, wow, could we help my parents learn about what I've been learning about and meet some of the partners we've met. We also have therapists on site through Rady Children's Hospital, two of them who are here several days a week. They carry their own caseload, so they see students regularly for therapy services. We also have a Snacks on the Go program. Students put messages out to teachers who need snacks in their classroom so that kids aren't hungry. The community school model is different. It changes the whole dynamic of school transformation and it brings the decision making back to the local school. So now we're able to invite in our parents, our students, community partners and staff together as a unit to make this decision making for Hoover High School. No longer somebody else making decisions for us. We can say these are our needs, this is what we saw with our data. These, is, these are the changes we want to make because we are positive that this will make the changes that we need to see in our community. We're really asking, what do you need to be successful at school? How, what do you need to be able to attend school? We provide food. We're providing after-school support. We have a garden that's growing fresh food where students are able to learn about what that means. And then we're cooking the food in our culinary program. One of our biggest areas of need right now is around attendance and school attendance. And so the community school team has been working really hard on really figuring out what does it mean to attend school and, and how do we help students get here. They wanted to do a focus group to find out what we needed for ourselves and for our students and I thought that was wonderful because then I could get a whole comprehensive help for my child.
One of the other major things as the site coach I've been working on is developing collaborative leadership protocols and structures and helping to implement them with, throughout all different areas of, um, of the school and like the decision-making bodies of the school. It ensures diversity of the different educational partners. It ensures that you need to have parent representation. It ensures that you need to have classified staff representation. It ensures that you need to have a student voices being present within that decision making. We made sure that we have a community school steering committee at the district level that includes uh, high school students. We have higher education partners from San Diego State University. We have community organizations represented on that committee and we meet monthly. We have work groups. We have regular reports. We provide recommendations and a lot of the recommendations that we have proposed have now been implemented. We have several students on the actual committee themselves. We have uh, three students that sit in that have been part of our process. We have a student manager of the pantry who's very involved. To see their excitement over community schools has been amazing. Again, it's the same, it's the same concept. Not only are you asking me for my voice, but you're actually telling me what you're hearing. So if I hear, this is what I hear you saying. Is this correct? And so it's like, yes, this is what exactly what we need. And now we're actually taking steps to address some of those concerns. Um, I think that's really important that we get that buy-in and that as a first year community school coordinator, that I'm very intentional about trying to find those wins to show that we are completely committed to listening to your voice and getting it done. But students are, are coming to me. They're super excited about the pantry. Um, they're excited about being able to do their laundry so they can come to school and feel clean and presentable to be on campus. When that strong foundation is in place of collaborative leadership, then you are able to do so much better with the other community school pillars of integrated student supports and expanded and enriched learning and community and family partnerships. All of the things that allow for us to be a community school structurally friendly district, that is all a product, again, of union work, right? The site governance teams. Right? Collaborative decision making, democratic uh, workplaces, right? Those are all products of union fights, union wins, and continued union work.